Welcome back everyone. If you're new, this is my second video on camshaft sprocket removals for Subarus. Um, I made a video a while back. It was like one of my first videos and the quality versus this one was much lower and the engine was out of the vehicle. So I wanted to make another video so you could see the details of what's going on and how this actually works. Um, so hopefully this helps you out uh, with your project. So my project is a cam seal leak. So I need to remove the camshaft sprocket to get to the cam seal. So what I did is I removed the timing belt and now we need to get this sprocket off. So this sprocket bolt is covered up by a cover plate. Um, there's a little bit of residual oil in there. There's no oil pressure um, and it's there's an O-ring right here you wanna check. It seals against that cover. Um, I usually don't replace it, but you wanna check if your nicks, cuts, and tears and, and replace it if needed. Um, and then take this bolt out basically. So this, the problem with this bolt is it's got 70 foot pounds of torque on it, but it it breaks, the braking torque to loosen it is probably over a hundred. It's, it's really, there's no thread locker on it, but it's a super, super sticky bolt. And a lot of people end up using an impact and they, they strip it, they break it, all kinds of bad things happen. And just to put a seal in, you just basically ruined the whole uh, the whole motor even sometimes because you can smash the uh, valves into the piston if the, if the sprocket turns so we got to do two things we got to loosen the bolt by hand and we got to hold the sprocket so to hold the sprocket get an old belt and if you take an old belt you want to weave it in between two pulleys and you want to weave it have it pretty taut as taut as you can but it, we're gonna final tighten it at the end so it doesn't have to be crazy tight but as tight as you can and then terminate it at a third cogged pulley, which I always end up at the crank pulley. Um, and then once it's at the crank pulley, basically you want you need two pairs of vice grips and pinch the belt together and mesh the teeth and then tighten it as tight as you can with the vice grips. Um, and, and it can damage the belt with the vice grips doing that. So you wanna always use an old that old belt. And then you wanna do the same thing at the camshaft sprocket you want to pinch it mesh the teeth and pinch it off as tight as you can and once that's tight there we go the camshaft sprocket can now not turn it can move like two teeth left or right that's it so it's not going anywhere we just need to remove the fastener and I use a half inch breaker bar uh, with a reducer on a 10 millimeter allen head I use an 18 inch extension just to make it easy for myself you don't it's not necessary to have that um, but there it is it just it twists right off no problem at all uh, no nothing broke nothing stripped you can reuse that bolt um, so basically we just need to remove these vice grips and this belt and this bolt and that whole sprocket will just basically slide right off on these um, for my project uh, mine actually stuck a little bit. They aren't. Pr the, this sprocket is not press fit onto the camshaft, but it's a tight fit. So um, you should be able to wiggle it off. If it won't wiggle, just give it a little a little nudge with a screwdriver or a pry bar between the cylinder head and the sprocket. Just get it moving. Once, as soon as it moves, it'll slide off. Sometimes they stick there too. So. So that's it. Um, installation is re is the reverse of what we just did. Um, if you are doing the bottom sprocket, um, the bottom sprocket has a lip on it and has to re be removed second. And then, uh, and then when you reinstall each side, the bottom has to go first, then the top, because there's a lip on the bottom one that will prevent the belt from sliding in. So here's my problem. I'm going to make another video. This is a OEM seal versus an aftermarket seal. And I'm going to make another video here shortly for you guys, hopefully uh, um, to show the installation and removal of these cam seals and what kind of happens with them. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. And I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. And thanks a lot. Have a great day. Take care.